All right, we're doing some more exponential functions. We are talking about decay here because we are talking about a population that has an animal species that is decreasing at a rate of 3.5% per year. And we counted 80 of these animals in habitat that you're studying. We're looking to write the function that models the change and then estimate with the uh, function, we're not gonna graph it, but we are gonna estimate the number of years it's gonna take to get the population to below 15 animals. So what I could do, and I, it means really not graph it, but more like just put it in a table format, but I'm gonna actually decide not to do that. You could certainly do that if you would like to, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll show you a quicker way to do this. So we're gonna look at the fact that we have a 3.5% 3, 3 decrease. So this is gonna be decay. So this means that when we're taking our value, we're gonna find a decay factor that is gonna be less than one because one means 100% and we're gonna be dropping it. And we're starting off with 80 animals. So that is our beginning value. So when we're writing this function, we're gonna start off with f of x is equal to the 80 that we're starting with and then we, we always in parentheses are gonna put one either plus or minus whatever the percentage is that we're dealing with. In the case of decaying, we're taking 100%, which is the one, and we're going to subtract because we're getting less of that. And we're gonna change this from 3.5% and we're gonna move the decimal one, two places over to the left to make it a decimal. So we're gonna subtract 0 0.035 from it and then it's going to be to the x exponent. So that's what it looks like. I am going to clean this up, make it a little bit neater so it's less stuff on it. So after I do the subtraction, it's going to be f of x is equal to the 80 animals. After I do the subtraction of 1 minus the 0 0.035, you are left with 0 0.965. And that's going to be to the x exponent. So that's the function. Now, we could actually figure out using a table and continuously go through every single year until we figure out when it's going to be less than 15. I am going to show you a shortcut way to do this when you're dealing with getting rid of numbers uh, around x. When it's x is being the exponent, we're going to be using the log function on our calculator. So we're going to start off with what we're looking for. So we're looking for 15 animals. So that's my f of x part. That's my answer. We're gonna use the rest of this equation right here. So we'll keep this going. So it's gonna be 80 times 0 0.965 to the x power. Now, when you're dealing with trying to do this and undoing an exponential function to get x by itself here, we kind of do the same thing we normally would do with solving for x, but there's a slight variation at the end because this x isn't a regular size x, it's an exponent. So there's a little twist to this. So the first thing we would do is divide that 80, like we normally would. We have multiplication here, so we do the opposite, which is to divide by 80, and we're gonna do that on both sides. So we're gonna cancel that out. It leaves me with one there. That leaves me with 0 0.965 to the x power. And we're gonna just do 15 divided by 80. And when we do that, we're gonna end up getting an answer of 0 0.1875. So 15 divided by 80, and that will give me that answer. And then what I'm gonna do after that is try to get this out of here. So here's where we have to do a little bit of log situation here. So what we're gonna to do to make that X be by itself, we need to divide the log of 0.965. So we're going to do this on this side, and then we do this over here on this side. Here's a really other additional piece here. We have to do the log of this number. And so we're going to do log of the number we've gotten after we've done the division part, if I could talk. And then we're going to do the division here to get this out. So what's gonna happen here is, sorry, that's confusing. Okay, so then that's gonna go wipe these out. They're gonna end up being zero. So we're logging this and dividing out. That's how we do that. We're gonna get X by itself. And now on my calculator, I'll just show you how you do this. You are gonna do the number law. You're gonna do the log button on the calculator. So here's this one. You'll see it has parentheses. We're gonna put the number that we have, 0.1875. And then we're going to close the parentheses, hit divide, do log again, then 
965. And then we hit enter and you get an answer of 46.98. So that's about 47 years it's gonna take before it goes below 15. If you want more questions like this, find them on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at you want algebra. And don't forget to like, share, and follow for more. And find them in the exponential functions section.